Hello and welcome to this session guys. Today we'll be looking at NUS225 and this is clinical pharmacology. Clinical pharmacology is a branch of pharmacology. We all know that and I think this is from our previous lesson. And uh, when talking about um, clinical pharmacology, we are specifically talking of a branch of pharmacology that focuses on the study of drugs in patients and particularly their effects, both beneficial, adverse, and the factors that influence their use. So you find that clinical pharmacology involves understanding drug interactions, uh, metabolism, and how drugs behave in the body of the patients. And uh, studying clinical pharmacology is so vital for nurses because of a number of reasons. Uh, we can start by like uh, the first one, safe administration of uh, drugs. So we know as nurses, we need a comprehensive understanding of clinical pharmacology to administer drugs safely, uh, considering factors like the dosage, routes, and potential interaction, and other uh, rights of drug administration. We are also <clears throat> uh, needed to have this information because it also enables us to carry out another role in pharmacology, and that is patient education. So nurses, we are often responsible for educating uh, patients about their medications. So knowledge of clinical pharmacology will enable us to explain the purpose of this medication, the potential side effects, and the importance of drug adherence. <clears throat> As nurses, we are also involved in monitoring and assessment. So we have to monitor the patients for drug response and drug effects. So you find that a strong grasp of clinical pharmacology is crucial for recognizing and managing any unexpected uh, reactions. We also uh, participate in collaborations with other healthcare team members. Uh, remember the collaborative care. So here you find that uh, we have to collaborate with other healthcare professionals. So that means understanding clinical pharmacology will help us communicate effectively with physicians, pharmacists, and other team members. Uh, and this is going to contribute to comprehensive patient care. Cl uh, learning about clinical pharmacology will also help us to provide individualized patient care. So, you know, patients will respond differently to medication based on various factors. It could be age, nutrition, and so on. So clinical pharmacology will allow us as nurses to tailor our care plans, considering individual patient characteristics for personalized uh, treatment. Lastly, is that uh, learning clinical pharmacology will enable us at least recognize adverse drug events. Uh, as we know, nurses, we do play a key role in identifying and reporting this adverse drug reaction. So knowledge of pharmacology will aid in recognizing unusual responses and taking appropriate actions promptly in order to save the patient. So generally, this course is designed to equip you with knowledge of drugs uh, that affect the 12 body systems and the most common body organs. You, need, you are needed also to gain skills uh, that are necessary to providing safe medication to patients who are suffering from various ailments. So in this, in this course, we'll be working on five uh, different objective. So number one, we'll want us to know, uh, we'll want us to describe the classification of drugs based on different criteria, chemical structure, for example, therapeutic use, for example. So uh, this is what we are going to be looking at as our first uh, and uh, very first objective in this manner. Number two, we'll also be, of course, this one uh, will be overlapping with the first one. Uh, and here we are going to be we are going to, de to describe the drug interactions in the body, okay? How the drugs uh, interact with the body. We want to hear of what is synergistic, antagonistic, uh, which one is potentiating uh, the effect of another drug, okay? An agonist, an antagonist. We'll be looking at this, and you can be sure that this will be overlapping with the other objectives. Of course, the other th third one is describing drugs affecting in the various body systems. Again, that will be overlapping with the first one. So uh, I want you to take this time, guys, to review the 12 body systems. So a, li a link will be popping up for that particular uh, task. 
Now, next, we'll also be able to apply the basic skills for therapeutics in nursing care practice. So we want you to know the drugs used to uh, treat, for example, hypertension, um, treat diabetes, treat cancer. And uh, in that case, uh, we, are, we are also supposed to know what is our responsibilities when we are trying to administer these drugs to our patients. Next, or lastly, as last objective, we are going to be able to explain adverse drug reactions and the effects of uh, drugs on uh, the major systems. Remember, also this one is going to be overlapping with the first one. So we'll have to be keen when you are covering the first objective because that's where most of our objectives will be achieved. In terms of cost content and how I'm going to cover this course, I'll start by looking at the rational use of antibiotics. Guys, this is the responsible um, utilization of these antimicrobial agents. Because of the growing resistance, guys, we are urged to be careful when you are trying to administer these drugs so that we avoid this resistance. When there's resistance, it will render these antimicrobial agents ineffective and thus patients or us, we may find ourselves being helpless, okay? So we are supposed to do that. That is what we are going to cover as our first topic, followed by the general characteristics of antimicrobial agents. Antimicrobial agents can either be bactericidal or bacteriostatic. Bactericidal means they're going to be killing the bacteria, whereas the bacteriostatic, they're going to be inactivating the bacteria, so we must be having them. Uh, in this case, we'll be... Uh, looking at uh, various examples of antimicrobial agents, starting with the beta lactams and could include things like penicillins and cephalosporins. We'll also be looking at other antimicrobial agents like aminoglycoside, fluoroquinolones, tetracycline, sulfonamides, microlides, and other and TB medications. Okay, majority of the TB medication are antibiotics. From there, we'll be looking at antivirals, antifungals, drugs that work on the immune system and also uh, against cancer, okay, anti-cancer drugs. So from there, of course, this again will be overlapping with these other topics, like, for example, the drug interactions, adverse drug events, and effects on major body systems will also be overlapping with the first one. So, of course, uh, we have some uh, systems of particular interest, like the central nervous system, uh, where we'll be looking at drugs like the opioid analgesics. Um, uh, we also have the anti-anxiety sedative drugs. Uh, what about antipsychotic drugs or drugs for the mood disorders and depressions, that is, and... Um, like anti seizure drugs, all of them, we're going to be grouping them under the CNS and we'll also be able to uh, revisit them. Okay, for the CNS, we also have the uh, ANS, okay, and it's part of the nervous system. So in this autonomic nervous system, uh, of course, I'll urge you again to revisit the concept of sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, stimulation. Also about the drugs affecting the endocrine system, Okay, endocrine system, and then look at the nutrients and fluid and electrolytes, intravascular space, interstitial space, okay, extracellular space and intracellular space. We'll be revisiting this one, and here you'll find that the diuretics again will be playing as a crucial role at this point here now. Next, we'll be looking at now the drugs affecting the, uh, the digestive system, okay, so the digestive system will also be given some. Uh, focus there, we're looking at the antiemetic, antidiarrheal, uh, cathetics, and laxatives. In terms of the mode of delivery, guys, so we are going to have online and uh, physical uh, lectures. So for the virtual sessions, uh, we'll also be recording videos, the YouTube videos where you are going to revisit, and you can actually learn at your own pace so that you can understand better. So that is what we are going to be referring to as a synchronous manner, where you can revisit the materials at your own time. So we'll be providing the links for that. Then thereafter, we'll also have the group uh, discussions where we're going to be having sessions with our peers and they can be able to critique each other so that we can be able to get a better understanding of the, the topic. In terms of the assessment, we'll be having cuts that will be constituting of 50% 
And the exams, of course, the interim exam, we're going to be having it out of 100, but it will be converted to 50, so that we have 50 for the exams and 50 for the cuts, giving us 100%. Guys, I know this is going to be an exciting topic. I'm urging you to put all our heads together so that we can focus on this challenge that you have currently, uh, the NUS 225 Clinical Pharmacology. By the end of this day, guys, we are going to be specialists in this topic, okay? Guys, until then, take care of yourself. See you in the next topic. Thank you so much.